Hello everybody, welcome back to another Brood War Ladder Battle. We're taking another look at Soma here in the bottom right hand corner. This time versus Barracks. Another ZVT for you guys. And uh, Guys, I've just been having such a hard time recently with Ladder. It is just a nightmare. Every time I play, I just I don't even know if I'm getting better right now. Oh, it's it's just not good guys like I don't know I did stream today and um, drop back down to C rank I'm like basically hovering around like low B I seem to be taking a lot of games in ZVZ but I just I cannot figure out this freaking matchup it is insane I, I, I don't know what I need to do. I don't know what needs to happen, but I am really struggling hard and I'm, I'm looking for something, something to help me get through this ELO hell, this, this wacky MMR and, and advance. To, to like a higher level. I don't know what it is guys. I'm really at a loss here. I was so frustrated today. I went to the gym after and just punched the punched the bag until my knuckles bled under the gloves. Like I, I just don't know what to do man. I'm so frustrated. It's starting to really get to me I think. <clears throat> And, uh, yeah, I've never really had this problem. I guess I've never really tried to be, uh, you know, at a super high level in any video game before. I wouldn't even call it super high level. Just getting to A rank is insanely difficult because it's so fucking hard. And I guess part of it, the reason I'm so frustrated is because I've got people watching me and I feel the weight of expectation as well. Uh, that, you know, people want to see me succeed or maybe they want to see me fail. I don't really know. But either way, they, they want to see... Or they're expecting me to, you know, play well. And I just, I, I keep falling apart. I don't know what it is. I, I feel like I know the game so well. I feel like I've learned so much in the time I've spent casting. But when it comes to playing, I feel like I just fall apart every single time. There's very rare cases where things start to flow in my head and and I start doing well, but there's so few and far between and I'm just I'm yeah, I'm losing I'm losing my mind is what it feels like. I really am. And so I, I don't know, we're gonna have to maybe take a break a weekend or something. Take a break from Brood War and just come back on Monday and I don't know, do like an, an academy or like a set up like a training schedule or something just study games you know write down build orders and just try to figure this shit out because i'm tired i'm really i'm really really tired of just playing ladder and getting stomped getting molly whopped by builds that don't make sense bullshit that like shouldn't shouldn't be winning games and i just i cannot put myself together well enough to hold everything and you know handle everything that these Ladder Terrans and Ladder Protoss players keep pulling out. It's very, very frustrating. I, I feel like I'm starting to sound like, you know, Artos is in his worst moments on stream, but every day in my own stream. So, yeah, I'm going to try and work on that. Not a lot has happened this game so far, guys. We had an overpool opening and, you know, the SCV was chased around the map. Barracks is going to open up with a one Rax Effie into, you know, a pretty quick gas. He's going to be going for this uh, gas and his uh, academy before his second Rax. So, you know, he's going to have quite a few Marines, but not as many as if you went uh, barracks before gas. And he's going to have a very quick stim with which to put on a little bit of pressure here to Soma, who's been just sticking on six lings. I've been trying this build actually, and it's just not been working. I really need to just go into a single player game and practice it 90 times until I get it correctly, get it, get it kind of down pat. But he's going 
recently, Soma has been doing an overpool build where he gets his hatchery and then he builds four lings and he gets his uh, spire, armor, and this hatchery here. He did it a bunch of times versus, I think it was speed or something. Can't quite remember, but we watched that earlier this week and... You know, I thought it would be a, a pretty strong build considering, you know, 8 racks is pretty strong, especially on ladder. It's freaking annoying to lose to it over, over and over again. So I think it's a really nice ladder build to go over pool. And if you can macro out of it the way that Soma's doing it, I feel like it's a pretty strong way to play and something that's definitely worth copying. Look, he's even getting in here before the, the turrets are done. And this is some shit that like never happens to me. How is it that Barracks is late on his turrets? Every ladder tear and I ever go up against is never late on their turrets. It just doesn't really make sense. But here we are. He gets a couple of SCV kills. He slows down the turrets a little bit. He doesn't get mass damage or anything like that. He ends up getting pushed away, but... That turret, that lateness of the turrets is going to hurt him. It's going to hurt him pretty bad. A lot more Midas on the way. Still popping Overlord. Still producing here. Soma hitting his macro stride. And, you know, he's, he's playing completely free. He is unburdened by the need to perform an SSL this season. He doesn't need to stream. He doesn't need to do anything. He's actually probably enjoying his military service right now. Because he gets to come home and, and just play like a... Basically like any normal person uh, who's not a streamer, who's not a professional gamer, he goes to work every day, does his thing, and he comes home and just bops nerds on the ladder. And Barracks is looking like he's about to get bopped here. He just lost his uh, two turrets on that high ground, and this is becoming some really serious damage. That run by with the links was fantastic. He's going to buy himself so much time with this. There's a drone here in the top right, but he hasn't utilized that yet. Still starting to add on drones now as he's kind of completed his Metalisk production. He's got not quite 11 right now, but it's enough to be annoying. And come back in here and pick up a couple of turrets, a couple of SCVs anyway. Get a few Marines. He's going to stop the um, starport from building here for a moment. There's quite a few turrets over here. Something I've been noticing a lot in my games recently as well as these Terran players just build so many turrets right now. Wild. That's that's a lot. Five turrets is kind of crazy. He's even trapped in one of his SCVs by doing that. So he's down one SCV there because of this. And we're just doing a fantastic job of Soma just holding this back. Picking off a few Marines here and there. Looking for more damage in the main. Meanwhile, he's not really doing too much. He's just getting a queen's nest. He's got a base started in the top left-hand corner, and he's got his hydrogen on the way. 8 minute 30. He's going to be switching into Lurker here in just a moment, and the Defiler will be coming across the map soon. Um, I mean, we saw him beat speed with this, but I imagine Barracks is going to have a better time fighting against it. I don't think he'll just topple over. Even though he's probably taken more damage than Speed actually took. He's got a lot more Marines. In the game against Speed, I remember that Soma was really focused on just killing the Marines. And he just kind of sat out in front of the natural and just kept fighting the Marines over and over and over again. So that he could maintain control. So maybe the goal for Soma this game is not to totally maintain control at the front. And not to totally shut down this Marine force so that he can bring Lurker to the front. Maybe he wants to... Just hold this marine force back a little bit, deal some economic damage, and then eventually get lurkers into this top uh, corner, this top right-hand corner. Some marines did break off and head up towards the top right, but they don't have any medics with them or anything, and Soma definitely sniffed that out. He knows that that's what's coming, and so he can just dive on this. He loses two mutas, unfortunately, but that's completely fine. He keeps this base alive. We'll get to go ahead and mine that. And that little move there, the four marine run away, or run by, I guess you could call it, little excursion, the strike force, 
a lot of times that will end up killing a Zerg player, but in this case, Soma really on top of things. He manages to pick that off and he's looking to be in a fantastic little spot here. Plus one armor is about to be done. It's in good time considering that lurkers are on the way. And it appears like Soma is not going to bring his lurkers to the front. Sometimes you can get five lurkers here in the front. You can just shut down the ability of the Terran to get out of their base at all. And eventually you'll get that defiler over there. And it takes a long time to break out of. If you keep hold of that position, eventually you can just win the game like we saw versus speed. But in this case, he's just going to be hanging back. And I'm actually happy about that because this is, this is so hard for me. This is the part of the game where I really struggle, guys. I have no trouble microing my mutas. I've done so much micro practice with my mutas. Like, I would say hundreds of hours of mutalist micro practice. Not a joke. So much muta practice that I can get a lot of damage with my mutas, or I can, you know, fight marines. Sometimes I mess it up, you know, everybody, no, nobody's perfect, but. I usually end up doing quite well with my mutas and get myself into a good position and then I just fall apart in this stage of the game. It's usually drops that get me. Honestly, it's either drops or just constant irradiates that eventually wear me down um, and open up a thing like a drop or, or a run by, but players like Soma, players like Soul Key, they just they handle it so incredibly well and it really blows my mind every time I watch it. So. I'm just going to enjoy the spectacle here of Soma sniping a vessel already. That's insane. That's so good for him. It will uh, take some damage there, but it's fine. Just taking a little damage. After picking off a vessel, he's going to be feeling very good about himself. And his chances it, at holding this off. Oh, a D matrix play. The Lurkers are going to pop through, and they are underneath this. Oh, wow. What a split here. That is an incredible split. Still five Lurkers. Four now. And so I doubt that he'll be able to break through this. In fact, the... Oh, man. That flank is insane. That is such a good flank. The Irradiate really sucked there, too. So, dude. Soma cleans that up so nicely. What a well-done hold absolutely insane that he managed to just crush that i don't even see the oh there's the nidus over here yeah he just pops through the nidus he comes up from the rear with the flank those are the type of moves that really separate uh players like me from players like so much sad to say but it is true such a well-timed flank there and barracks is he's just nowhere on the map he's got nothing going on he has a third base coming up a few things are a few marines are you know holding that area but this is gonna get spotted just snipe the scv and he can bring some lings over here and just kill all those marines as well not a big deal he's got armor on the way actually plus two is on the way here plague is coming up He's got some Scourge littered around the map, just making sure that he's got some vision going. Probably throw down an extra hatch over here as well, just to get this really rolling. One forgotten drone here behind the mineral patch. Not the biggest deal, though, because he's got 47 workers and extra hatches already for that extra uh, macro economy to really get rolling here's the first pair of drops so there was one big move there from barracks to try and get in uh with the d matrix play that was kind of the first move of barracks he's got like maybe one or two more of those in the in the pocket before soma really breaks out on the map and he's gonna gamble that on that next move on a drop and let's see what he can actually do with this because if someone shuts this down, I think that'll be his last attempt. If he gets a little damage, then maybe he'll have one more. But if he doesn't do anything with this, uh, he is just going to be completely dead in the water. Let's see if he can get in here. Well, that's a pretty decent Dark Swarm. Um, with the Lurkers un already underneath here, you're really not going to get too much damage. Well, with the Vessels, maybe you can make something happen. Oh, the Scourge fly in. That's unfortunate. He could have killed almost every vessel here uh, had he sent the Scourge in at a better angle. But uh, yeah, he, he probably still will clean this without losing too much more. 
He has the burrow here on the high ground. He's got these marines getting chased down over here as well. And so barracks, I mean, this this play did a little a little bit of something, but it didn't even stop the gas from mining at the the fourth base and that's a little bit rough. He's going to take this base over here in the top left. Are we going to see a switch into mech? No, I don't see it. I don't see it just yet. He's going to drop behind the mineral patches back here and try to get the irradiate in the net or in the main. Okay. It's a pretty decent irradiate there. A couple of irradiates actually on these mutas and maybe might be able to kill a few drones here. That's uh, some pretty good drone kills. Not bad at all. Um, some hydras here are getting rallied. You can see even Soma making some mistakes here. Just letting some units die for free uh, in all of this chaos. But he does get the Dark Swarm in uh, the mineral line and he will get those lurkers into position to deal with this. So everything does die. And Soma is just about at the level now where he can really start to pump out Ultra. Now, BCs are coming here for barracks. And... He is still a huge threat. He's got three gas, about to be four. Could support up to four starports. He's only got three right now, but he's got plenty of gas coming in. 666 I saw just a second ago. The drop over here, that's not going too well for him. Looks like that will get picked off, no problem. And I think the time of the drop is over. So very well handled here. Very well handled indeed by Soma. And he's even going to be getting Groove Spines. That's interesting. He wants to get Hydra range. Uh, I think that's kind of a catch-all. In case we see some battle cruisers coming. He's even got the, the Creep Colony behind the Mineral Line. This is a sign of an amazing, a great, great player, guys. The fact that he's already built this. That is, I mean, it really speaks for itself. He just, he's like, okay. It's a very fast rush distance from your base to mine by air. You're probably going to send BCs over here, right? Instantly already has this down. So good. Picking off some vessels with just a single ultra. Coming out with the uh, defiler just to uh, force some attention here. Force these marines to keep backing up and also to snipe some vessels. Really good trade there. Only losing... Uh, Defiler and some health on this Ultra. Got four kills and he got two vessels. Pretty awesome play from him. We've got some Scourge over here. The first two BCs are out. We might be waiting on plus one attack. I don't think we have that. Really important to get plus one attack because we might already have armor. I think we did get armor immediately, right? Yeah, armor's up. So, yeah, that's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to... You can't one-shot anymore with those BCs, so... Uh, it's a little bit of a bad situation. Um, for the BCs, they can't one-shot Scourge, which means Scourge are going to trade quite well against them, but... Oh man, this might already be over. Barracks doesn't have anything up here, and his SCV train is coming. Um, this... I mean, this base is gone. It's done. He's going to come into the natural and maybe throw down some radiates on a few lurkers. I guess you get some lurkers here. But Dark Swarm, Lurker. Yeah, you're just not going to break through there. So, you know, someone going to hold this area. He can hold this area now. And he only needs two Dark Swarms to keep this alive. Uh, and continue this Lurker, of course. He needs to keep pumping lurkers and sending them to the front line. Uh, and probably Defilers as well because we're going to have a... A couple of BCs heading up into the top right. They're going to pick off that Defiler. And he's going to try and push through here. Will we get a plague on these battle cruisers? I think so. There it is. Ultras are going to get cleaned up here at the third base. And Barracks, you know, he's looking for an opportunity here. Hasn't been able to find it just yet, but he's dealing quite some damage with these battle cruisers. He even gets the Nidus Canal. Another Plague's going to go down on this. Almost 100%. Um, could throw down another Dark Swarm here as well. Scourge coming through from behind. Picks off both those Battle Cruisers. Very nice. Very good stuff. Four Lurkers over here. Probably going to be able to hold. That is a very tight ramp. We don't have, you know, plus one on the spines yet. But that's coming. It's going to be there soon. 
That'll give him, you know, two shot potential for these Marines once again. And pretty good spread here of Marines. He's really con kind of containing him on his side of the map. But there's a big fat opening if you take a look at the map. If we can just head directly from here, from our main, right over to the natural. And we don't even have to worry about um, fighting with uh, Barrack's army. Wow, that plague. Oh my goodness. Absolutely wrecked. What is going on here? These, that plague was a game changer. And I think that barracks just fell apart. With that one plague going down, the Lings are going to start to massacre this stuff. The Ultras are going to get all over this army. And GG is called. Yikes. Soma taking him down. Oh. Guys, if only I could play like Soma. Good God. If you can't tell, I'm a little bit salty. I'll try to, to shape shape up here over the weekend. I'll try to come back with a positive attitude. Come visit me on stream if you're interested in the grind. It's been a rough, rough past few days of just putting in hours and hours and unfortunately not really seeing the results that we were hoping for. <clears throat> but I don't know. It's hard to see when you're in the middle of it, right? It is a little bit tough to... Take a step back sometimes and go and, and really, you know, think about it uh, from a thousand foot perspective. I'm, I'm like right here in the middle of the combat and feeling like I'm not gaining any ground, but maybe that's just part of the process. I am going to switch up my strategy, though. Regardless, we're going to do some academy style training. We're going to practice more games. We're going to watch games together. I think that's the plan. We'll be writing down lots of builds and practicing them on stream. So come check it out. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Much better than me right now. Uh, not that it's truly bad. It's just it is rough when you are struggling um, in the thing that you're, you're kind of passionate about. And, you know, I'm, I'm putting my my soul into this and it uh, it really hurts when I just can't produce the results that I want to produce so uh, if you guys can understand that um, which I hope you do please leave a comment that's it for today guys see you in the next one